right, so today we're going to be, sh I'll be showing you guys how to get around the uh, watermark um, on EK Print Studio. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. All right, so in order to get around the watermark, what the watermark where it prints is usually in the middle of the film sheet. So to do that, all you need to do is adjust your uh, length of uh, of your table size so if, if it's a 19 uh if you're printing on uh 13 by 19 to 8 plus 3 um it's going to print it about nine and a half inches into the sheet so what we're going to do is just go ahead and double this 19 to uh 30 about 38 um and to do that what we do is you guys more than likely don't have this file um in your folder um you can get it from uh, UConn uh, Digital by just e emailing them. Um, but you could just also open up a WordPad and then copy this uh, information into it and then uh, save it as the I I and I. Uh, files if you want to save it. You'll want to save it as an INI uh, file. Just open up a text uh, notepad document, name it uh, cuts size uh, dot INI, and then you'll be good to go. But this is the information you're going to copy. All right. And then this is what we're going to adjust today um, is the height. So we're doing 13 by 19, uh, which is a plus three paper. Uh, right now I have my printer set at 16.9 uh, right here. So I'm gonna be using those numbers instead, uh, the, thir uh, the 19. So right here, um, it's gonna be 16, 16.9, I'm gonna times that. 3.9. You need to times it by 720. So, um, if you want to make an adjustment to any of these uh, number, the width or the height, uh, you need to times that, uh, times it by 720. All right. So, so and that gives me. I'll do both um, so you guys can see both. So I'm going to adjust the width as well. Um, so I'll do the same thing. I'm just going to times width. My width is set to uh, 12.6, and I'm going to times that by 720. And that gives me 9,000. Okay. Um, we actually need to just go back. Uh, it's just one step. Uh, so this number, we're just going to double this number by two. So four times this number, 12, 1, 6, 8 times two. Of one, two, four, six, 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 Times that by. So this is going to be our new, our new thing. If you're using, I can do it. So 
Oh god, just take this. Go. And then we'll just close this again. I'll just get that bit of part out for a bit. Okay, so now we're back. So this is what this is what it should look like now. Um so where it's gonna print is gonna be in the middle of this sheet. So if I'm doing a 16, uh, if I'm printing at a 16.9 length, I'm gonna have all this, all this width um, before it prints that. Way. She's up one point. So as you can see, this one is 11 inches by 16. You do need to leave at least probably, at least like two, maybe one and a half inches um, at the bottom of your sheet, just so that uh, because your rollers are removed, um, if you, uh, it's, it's probably going to the, like the sensor, um, can't read the sheet. Um, when it gets to a certain point. So you do need to leave at least like two inches, uh, two inches of space at the bottom of your film. So probably don't make anything bigger than probably like 14 and some 14 and a half inches uh, height wise. All right. This one could probably be a little bit bigger uh, since it does have that little design right there. This is what your this is what your sheet will look like, all right? My computer's a little slow since I'm recording. Uh, but yep, this is pretty much what you need to do. Uh, table size. Uh, oh, and then let me show you where you need to put the file uh, real quick. So. Once you once you create that notepad, you'll take your file and you're going to input it. We'll go to Drive, Programs eighty six, Yukon Digital, EK Print Studio, and then this is where you'll input it. Um, it's in this file, so here's where you're gonna put it. All right. 